go to Africa. So it's 1960 here in the center of Africa, a country called Congo. They just gained independence from Belgium, and they have an election. And this guy, Patrice Lumumba, wins, becomes the prime minister. But immediately, over in Washington, the communist alarm bells instantly start sounding off. Because we're in the middle of the Cold War, and Congo is a place full of tons of natural resources, including loads of uranium, the main ingredient for nuclear bombs. This is at a time when Americans are keeping gas masks next to their bed and have hordes of canned goods in their basements. And officials in Washington can't risk Congo falling into the influence of the Soviet Union. So they start focusing on this prime minister. The CIA director called him, quote, an urgent and prime objective that should, quote, be a high priority of our covert action. So they pull a more political coup than the ones before. They start allying with Lumumba's political enemies and Congo's former colonizer, Belgium. They bribe politicians, they fund protests and labor movements, and they circulate propaganda, similar ingredients to the previous coups. And when the moment is right, all these bribed politicians do what the CIA asked them to. They remove Lumumba from power. And the CIA is right there giving money and intelligence and advice to the new government. This political solution was actually not the first try. The CIA had tried to assassinate Lumumba in the past, but all of those attempts failed, which is why they turned to hijacking and manipulating Congolese politics, a brand new democracy, supporting the people who would eventually go on to put Lumumba in front of a Congolese and Belgian firing squad, making this effectively a political assassination supported from an ocean away. And yet there's so much gray area in these coups. In this case, it's really tough to prove that the CIA's support was the key factor factor in Lumumba's assassination. It's debated to this day. An effective foreign-sponsored coup works like this. Operating in the shadows, fueling divisions, appealing to the worst demons of the people on the ground through money, through influence. 